Hey guys, it's Warren here and today I've been sent a muscle food delivery and the reason being is that I'm going to be trying their new unthinkable plan. Now, what it is to my knowledge is that you get sent your lunches, dinners, breakfasts and snacks and I went online and put in like my height, weight and goal so my BMI and calorie allowance I guess can be calculated out and it all gets sent to you and it's ready for you for the next five days. All you got to do is some meal prep for some of the meals I think but at least you've got all your snacks and everything there for you. So. That's kind of the idea and the concept behind it. So let's have a look what's in the box and what I'm going to be eating for the next five days. All right, here we go. Thanks, John. Jeez, okay, there is a lot of stuff in this box right here. So it looks like we're going to start with the snacks. Um, we have beef jerky, barbecue zippers. Don't know what that is. I don't know, I'll let you know when I eat it, see if it's any good, I guess. Um, we've got some high protein oats here. So that looks like it'll be something for breakfast with 20 grams of protein per serving. Coconut crunch, chocolate brownie, lemon crunch. Okay, what's this? These look really interesting. Chia vanilla. Ah. Salted caramel. Pork rind, I don't think I've ever had pork rind before, so that'd be a good one to try. And beef jerky again. Okay, so let's say we've got the fresher stuff in here, so let's take a look. We have chicken stroganoff. Chicken and mushrooms in creamy sauce and with rice. That looks good. Refrigerators, snacks must be. Pulled pork with beans rain and rainbow vegetables. Lip clean. And another chicken stroganoff there. Okay, these now look like we've got some lunches here. I'm assuming they're lunches, but I guess those leaflets will say. Um, chili and black bean with chicken. Barbecue chicken. And... Right, Chinese pork stir fry. So these look like they're a bit more the sort of thing that you prepare at home from scratch. Yeah, and again, a few more kind of meal uh, things that you'd prepare from scratch by the looks of it. Salmon stir fry, nice. Okay, finally we have two packs of pancakes. Cool. Hey guys, so today is the first day that I'm gonna be starting the plan. Reason being is that I actually went to the gym this morning, which is a bit of a first at the minute because since we had our baby, um, four, no sorry, five months ago, I haven't actually been to the gym um, and I only started back about two weeks ago and this is the fourth time I went this morning. So with that in mind, I thought it was the perfect time to start the plan today. So most of the meals, actually all of the meals were freezable, which is good because they have quite a short shelf life. So luckily I've found room in the freezer and I managed to store them all in there and I'm gonna root through and see what my first meal is gonna be. Ta-da! Right, this drawer is packed full of these meals. So, let's see. These I'm more inclined, I think, to use in the evening because they're more kind of prepare from scratch kind of meals. So I'm gonna pretty much go with the first thing I see. And we've got chili black bean chicken. Okay, so I'm impressed already because this is cooked from frozen, which is really handy because I tend not to forward think when it comes to things like this, so I'll forget to take something out of the freezer and have to wait for it to defrost, so that's great. And it only takes four minutes and a couple of minutes to stand in the microwave, which is perfect. Uh, this has 40, 40 grams of protein per serving, four grams of fat per serving, which is great. So I'll just loosen the lid and get this microwave. Let's see what we've got. These tubs are dead handy. I'll probably use these to store food in. <laughs> um, cool, okay. Yeah, nice and colorful. Looks dead lean, actually. Um, looks like you're getting a bit of your five a day in there as well, so looks good. Okay, now for the taste test. That does actually taste really lean, which is nice, actually. It's not like smothered in like greasy sauce or anything. Yeah, do you know what? That really strikes just the right balance between kind of the amount of rice, because I always do too much rice with stuff, um, the amount of meat in there and veg, and 
it's not so much a sauce, it's more all seasoned just right. And it's not actually too dry either, which is good because sometimes when you heat up food with rice, it can kind of get a bit dry. So that's actually, you know, just the right proportions of all the different foods in there. And it's quite, still quite moist, which is nice. And you know what, you can definitely tell that's gonna keep you full for a good while as well. So, chili and black bean is a thumbs up. Good morning. So it's Sunday morning and today I'm gonna to try these blueberry pancakes, but I messed up because I'm supposed to cook them from chilled, not frozen, and I just got them out of the freezer. So maybe if I separate them and wait 15 minutes, instead of defrosted and I'll heat them up and see what they taste like. Okay, so fully defrosted and I've just got these out of the microwave. Let's see what we've got. It's gonna be weird eating these without sauce or something on top, so maybe that would have been a better idea actually. But actually there is a bit of a blueberry filling in there by the looks of it. Yeah, I mean, they taste all right, but they definitely do need a fruit filling on top, I think. And um, according to this, we're all good to have fruit. So I'm probably gonna put some summer fruits on top of that just so it's a little bit less dry. All right, and here we go. I've just heated those up in the microwave as well. And then hopefully, that should kind of provide just what I need just to make that a little bit less dry. So there we have it. That is breakfast sorted. Okay guys, it's Tuesday morning and I'm a bit peckish. So I think it's about time I start tucking into some of these snacks. So I'm gonna go with this coconut crunch to start with. And it's high in protein, 15 grams of protein in this bar, six grams of fat. So all the usuals there and 171 calories. Definitely smells like it's got coconut in. It's very dense. Yeah, tastes good. I think like most things that I embrace in, it's quite dense. So it's definitely gonna take me a while to gnaw through it, but just the right amount of chocolate, really coconutty, which is good. I like coconut. And yeah, tastes a little bit sinful, but um, good at the same time. So win-win, I guess. Okay guys, so I'm just coming home for my lunch from work today and I got my lunch out of the freezer this morning. So let's see what we've got. Chicken stroganoff. So we have the meaty bit plus the veg as well. So yeah, again, that looks really nice and fresh actually, which is good. And lots of chicken in there. Okay, so here we have 568 calories per serving, 14 grams of fat, and Jesus, 63 grams of protein. Okay, cool. So put that on there, microwave, and don't piss, nice. Right, let's see what we've got. The veg is dead colorful. And I think I'm gonna put that in a bowl. All right, here we go, let's give this a try. Yeah, it looks dead colorful, but I really don't think I'm gonna be able to finish all this. Like the portion is absolutely massive. And yeah, again, that just tastes really fresh. And you know, it's nice to have something that's in a sauce as well. Um, yeah, it tastes really good, really fresh. The sauce is nice. Yeah, and I'd probably say the only thing about this is there's <laughs> probably just too much there for me. So might even end up having some for my dinner when I get home from work. But yeah, thumbs up. Okay guys, so I've been following the Do The Unthinkable plan now for five days. Um, and to be fair, I do feel a bit different. So I think the reason is, is a lot of the food, like the main meals and the lunches is they seem to be really lean and you know, they're not using kind of greasy sauces with them. They're all more seasoned. So for that reason, I definitely feel kind of like less bloated, I think. Um, and yeah, like I've just generally eaten a lot healthier over the past five days. Um, in terms of the snacks, the snacks are really filling. So, because when you first look at it, you think, oh geez, is that all I'm gonna be eating for the day? But actually they're really filling. So with them, you, so with them, you might not be eating them at once. You might you know, have half a bar and then have the other half a bar later. So in terms of the weight, uh, I'm the same weight basically as I was when I weighed myself to start with. I didn't really expect there to be much weight change and. I'm not really looking to lose weight anyway, so that didn't really surprise me. But 
I guess my body composition may have changed a little bit during the week. But um, all in all, yeah, the weight's the same, but I do feel a lot less bloated and generally like I've eaten a bit healthier. Now it is quite a prescriptive diet, so if that's not your cup of tea, then this might not suit you as much, but you know, it could just take a couple of weeks, I guess, to just get used to it. Um, if you're used to having certain things in your diet kind of every day. So that could take a while, but um, I think if you've got a really specific goal in mind, this would definitely work for you because it's taken out a lot of that calculation you have to do in terms of how many calories you're having because it's all, all planned for you and what your goal is. So yeah, it's quite prescriptive, but it could definitely work for you if, if you know you have a certain goal in mind. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful and you can actually check out some more of my recipes using muscle food ingredients by clicking on one of the videos on the screen.